Hello family, welcome back to the channel, home of the RC community and home of the Patreon that offers the most value out. Nothing comes close, all right? So those links will be in the description. So look, um, I've been on a tear lately uh, making these videos and um, I've been on a tear also trying to just educate individuals and give uh, individuals a clear mindset out here in this up and down uh, crypto space. And one of my favorite uh, projects that I'm doing uh, videos on is none, none other than uh, Saitama. Uh, one, of the, one of the situations that Saitama is going through right now is um, there is some rumors that they are pondering uh, a V2, okay? And I already then covered uh, certain things about uh, switching uh, from contract to contract and all that. Uh, and the thing is this, you got two sides of the field. You got individuals, you got investors who uh, do not want the V2, all right? And I already explained to a lot of those investors uh, the big picture of, you know, not having a V2 and having a V2, you know, and all of that. But you do have some individuals up there who, who do want the V2, but they are, the thing is this, they want the V2, but they are rushing it. They want to rush it, okay? Because they already don't trust the other contract. So what they're saying is that, you know, they need to hurry up and switch to the, the V2 because, you know, this project is not going to go anywhere with the current contract they have. They believe that if, um, they believe that if Saitama, uh, they, they don't want the liquidity uh, relock on the old contract, Okay. And, you know, the the issue that I have with a lot of the investors who are making demands like that is a lot of the investors don't get the big picture. Not only do they not get the big picture, but a lot of the investors don't know what's going on on the back end. Like I said, this development teams, they see everything on the back end. They see everything on the back end. You know, like how you buy something off of a uh, online store or something like that. You only see the front end with all the products and the prices on it. But there's some controls on the back end that you have no idea uh, that is there. It's a whole different, you know, it's a whole different uh, view of what you're viewing on the front end. And a lot of uh, of the uh, the investors out there, they're demanding that we hurry up and get this V2. Look, the thing is this: what you all think okay is is the sky falling on the front end your basic view okay the developers are saying something way different on the back end this is also why they're not rushing to uh, change the contract because i told you before that uh i told you before that you know I, it, number one i don't think that the developers are are disappointed in anything that's going on with the other contract the only reason they were pondering the v2 in the first place is because they think that you know there are some things that they can do okay that would give them more flexibility within the project okay i think that they're limited on what they can do in this first contract and there's nothing wrong with that because like i said they just got into uh they they got into crypto they're still learning as they go Okay, they did not know that this contract, the contract may may have looked, uh, the contract may have looked great, okay, in the beginning, okay, but they, they as they as they advance, as the project advanced, they noticed that it was going to be some limitations, okay, and they said, well, hey, maybe we could do a V two, but at the same time, we can still live on this uh, this other contract, okay. Everything that's going on, the sky is not falling. They see things way different. They see everything that you cannot see on the back end. So we cannot keep making uh, these demands that we want a V2 or that the developers need to switch to a, the, the V2, the, uh, V2 contract, okay? Because they really don't. I think they're satisfied. They notice that they need upgrades, but they're not in a rush to uh, want these, to uh, actually need these upgrades uh, at the moment, all right? And another thing is this, you have to understand the developers cannot always aim to please the investors, especially when the investors just don't understand the, the big picture on the back end. If, if developers always aim to please the, uh, the uh, investors or developers always uh, aim to please the investors, that would actually hurt the project. 
Okay, we can't put in motion things that do not need to be in motion right now or things that may actually hurt the project. We don't know what's going on. And like I said, the thing is this. If you don't know what's going on, uh, you, you just a lot of individuals are assuming that everything is bad because they do not trust the developers. I said in, my, in one of my past videos, if you do not trust a, a developer of a project you're investing in, why are you investing in it? Don't invest in something you do not trust. OK, and I know individuals may say, well, the developer in the project is different. No, it's the whole thing. The developer, OK, is the founder. They are the leader of the project. If you invest in the project, you invest investing in the developer also. OK, it's like a merge. They come together. OK, you can't get one without the other. OK, so we're making a lot of uh, demands and we got to understand that, you know, if, if developers, um, aim to please the investors all the time, it could actually hurt the longevity of the project. All right, and I think the developers have been doing a good job, okay, of uh, kind of separating themselves from that space. They have been listening to the, they have been listening to the, uh, to the investors, okay, but they have not been jumping at their tune every time, okay? Because they see what, look, what you all want with a lot of individuals, and it's not all of you, because not all of you are doing that, so let me rephrase that. What some of you want, okay, does not line up. What some of you want on the front end, okay? For the individuals that want the V2, what you want on the front end, what you want on the front end is not lining up with what the developers are seeing on the back end. It's not matching up. In fact, a lot of stuff you want done, if developers put it in motion, it can actually hurt what they have going on on the back end. Look at the big picture here. Okay, you're not on the back end, you're on the front end. You're on the front end looking at one basic picture. All right, they're on the back end looking at all of the, the paint strokes. Okay, all of the, okay, they're looking at the whole creation of what created that picture, that, that basic picture on the front end. They're looking at the whole process of how that was created on the back end. You do not see that. Okay, so keep that in mind. What you want on the front end is not lining up or matching on the back end. It can actually hurt the longevity of the project. Okay, so I am for V2, and, and I really don't also care if they don't have the V2, okay, because I trust their process. I trust that they know what they're looking at on the back end, which is why I'm not saying, oh, we need the V2 because... The, the first contract sucks, all right? I can't say the first contract sucks because I don't know what they're looking at back there. I don't know what they're looking at, okay? So I want to make this video, and once again, I'm going to try my best to continuously educate you all out there, and I hope you're really getting some education from my videos and you're seeing a big picture of everything, all right? So um, this is my video, and remember, all right, every now is history tomorrow, and you even have patience in this crypto uh, space or you lose in the end. Audi.